Hey everyone, so we finally made it to the baby store to do some um, comparison shopping on the car seats and it was really hot outside today so we had decided we would come and pick up a few things. <clears throat> so one of the things on my list is pacifiers. None of my babies have been really big on pacifiers but for the first couple months if they're necessary I definitely want to have them there for them. So we're going to pick up a couple of pacifiers and this shape of the Nuck brand has always been really good for our guys and they never really took to the baby um, hospital ones very much and I like to get the ones with a little tag on it because I have a tutorial if you're interested um, on how to make a pacifier clip so we're gonna get a couple of these they don't have a lot of options for boys there's sports that's all right um, this style here they had when Jack was little they're still doing them oh here's some little animal prints but that's for an older baby so yeah wanting to be able to clip it so the baby doesn't lose it um, we try to put the kids in the car in a way that they can help each other like have a riding buddy so I picked up a pack of um, this event also like what the hospital gives you usually walk out of the hospital with a couple anyway but um, gotta have for baby what he needs because there's one thing that I don't like to do and that's taking a newborn out shopping at a store so here is the big kid car seats and all-in-one car seats And we have the Brytax car seats, which we have used since Jack was little. And so, yeah, they call these three-in-one. And our baby can use one of those. Um, we have two very good ones that are still fairly new and not expired. But for carrying baby into the store, especially for the first six months, to me, can be really hard. Um, it's convenient if you have a comfortable baby carrier to go this route because then you're only buying the one car seat, which car seats can really add up. So for us, oh, the color is perfect on this one, Baby Trend. Our stroller is red and black, but I'm not a big fan of the Baby Trend brand. Um, they always seem to kind of generic. So baby trend snap and fit. And I did not look into that very much. Um, okay, here we have a Graco Snug Ride. And it's a 30LX. Um, this one does not have the built-in headrest that goes up and down. So I know that with what I researched already, um, you have to adjust the straps on this one. And on the 40, you can adjust the straps with one control on the back. And I'm not seeing that one. And there's a 35 also. Um, but Snug Ride, that's a real good brand with good reviews. And I know that it is compatible with our stroller. Um, our stroller also is compatible with a Chico. So here's three Chicos and they all have a winter boot. So we went up from 129 to 229 and 239 by adding this boot. Um, still two-handed on all of these. So the only comparison really is this boot. It's got a nicer. head support here for a newborn but it seems like it'd be really hot in July which by the way my air conditioner was not working today in the car so I have to pick up a can of refrigerant which they don't sell at Babies R Us for some reason so this one's got like a lavender this is like a gray and lavender stripe with lavender zipper and lavender interior. 
super girl. Chico Kefit 30. So this would work with our stroller. So that's an option. But yeah, we won't be needing that. And by the time the weather gets cold, he'll be out of that. Here's some more Graco's. Okay, Graco 35 Platinum. Um, one of the things that I found with Bethany, I don't, this is like a woven fabric. Hers was a really shiny type polyester. And the kids would touch her with like front try fingers. And her car seat was always dirty. So this one's got like a minky liner, so that's nice. And it's got the one hand adjustable for here, ooh, and here. So none of the Chico's had that, and this one's $219. Um, easy adjustment here instead of the dials for making it level in the car. Um, that might be a route to go. This stripe is nice. Um, but it's only on the newborn size liner. And then it's just gray. 35 DLX, 199. Basically, it looks like it's the same as this one. This one's called Grayson, which is funny. I just put that name in my last video. Um, this one's a little more plain, 159 Graco Snug Ride. And it is just a polyester lining, comes off real easy. It's got the dial for adjusting the base. Um, which, by the way, if you have a um, situation where you need to put three car seats across, which we have in the past, um, it works with the Suburban. But it doesn't work with a lot of other vehicles. When I was doing my research on the Graco website, this uh, can be safely used without the base, and then it is not as wide, so you can fit three car seats across. If you have other car seats, it's the cup holders that make them so wide. So this is the new forever car seat. So this must go in, yeah. And that gives them a little spot to stand on when they're getting in. $349. That's about... No, you have to sit. I know you want to, honey. We'll get something for you to do. Okay? Um, that's about what we paid for our buy taxes years ago. And I know some people say Britix. Some people say buy tax. Some people say it totally screwed up. Um, I am in Michigan and most people say Britix. Okay, so here's another extend of fit. 249. This one's got a liner on the thing instead of just a pad, which that hooks on. We have a lot of problems with those hooks. You've got to be careful. Little Becky's being a monkey here. Hey guys. The kids are all running off shopping. Are you shopping for clothes for your brother? I see. Suspenders and bow ties for 4th of July. That's cute. Okay, you need to tie your shoe. Um, of course, all the modern car seats come with the latch system, or you can use them with your seat belts. And a lot of them that I found with the baby carrier has a seat belt lock off so that you don't have to use the little metal clamp. So yeah, here, here's a Britax, and this is a new version. This is a Boulevard. So that was about a middle of the road one. Um, 389, so that's real comparable to that Graco. And this real nice side impact protection. Oh, this one has got a carrier thing underneath for storing stuff, see? That's really neat. Mine, mine does not have that. It's older. Britix Marathon or Britax Marathon. This is the next one up. I 
349. I had it backwards. The Boulevard was the fancier one than the marathon. And a lot of people do go with the marathon because they don't see a big difference. Um, I think for us it was a weight and size issue. So 49 inches. Tall. Um, hmm. 12 reclining positions. So that's that's pretty nice. That's a nice option for when baby does not need the baby carrier. So just looking here. I want to find out why they don't have a 35 LX. There's a 35 Platinum. Okay, so these are the 35s, no 40s. I want to find out if one of these two come in another color pattern. So I have to stop filming so I can check the boxes. But I think this is what we're going to go for because of um, the single handle adjustment. Okay, okay. Bethy has to go at the potty. She was just there two minutes ago. Um, so here's another thing that I noticed to um, to buy an additional base if you're running two vehicles, grandma's vehicle or mom and dad's vehicle. Um, the turn dial base is fifty four ninety nine. This is Toys R Us, uh, Babies R Us. So um, eighty nine dollars for this new version with the handle. So, this one goes in easier, apparently, with this clicking locking, but it sounds like this is um, specifically for the latch system, which we don't have on our vehicle, where this one can be used with either. This is the part that I was talking about with the seat belt lock off. Here it is in English. Integrated belt lock off for easier seat belt installation. Murdoch is finding noisy baby mirrors to play with. He's being so well behaved. These other guys decided that it was a good time to play ball. Okay, so now we are at the double stroller section and they don't have in store the options that they have online. Um, the umbrella type stroller is not gonna work for us. We don't do much mall shopping. And what I have now is a side-by-side -side stroller similar to this. Um, this is a baby trend, wasabi. And it is a sling style strap on. So it's not gonna have very much weight, 50 pounds per seat. Um, I have the older Bumble Ride. That seems to work okay for us. Uh, it's got the big wheels that I like for, like what's on a jogging stroller. These type wheels do not work for around the farm. Um, we don't even have a mailbox, so it's not even going to do me any good to go for anything like that. We, we need those jogging stroller type wheels. Um, and the option to be able to lock a front wheel is nice too. Now, in the single strollers, they have a lot of options. But if I'm going to get in shape after the baby's born, Bethy is going to want to be carried. And little Bethy's like 28 pounds, so that is not going to be enough. Now, I had um, this contours seat is one of them that I had considered when it was just Jack and Murdoch because they could face each other, and I thought that was neat. But it's $279, and you can buy a wagon for $100 have them face each other. Um, this is decent because it is front to back, but whoever's in back can't see past the person in front. And when mom is pushing, mom can't see baby in front either. And I actually had tried a Graco double stroller like this years ago. And Jack was slouching down after we had left the library and dragged his feet on the concrete. Um, this Chico Bravo is really nice. I like the colors. It's got a big basket, and you can access the basket from the front, too. But Ixnay on the wheels. That's no good for me. So I need you to sit again. Thank you, Bathy. So this is what I was talking about with the, the contours. You can put two car seats on it. They can face each other. They can face away from each other. So that's nice. A Chico Cortina te together, that is a lot nicer than the contours. Um, it's 
got bigger wheels, but they are solid plastic. So, that kind of settles that. Now this is an option I just absolutely love with the bassinet. This is a whole travel system, the stroller, the bassinet. It's by Evenflow with the car seat for $2.99. So that is really nice. Rollover tested. I don't think we're going to be having any rollovers. Oh, they have bobs. A lot of times they don't have the higher end stuff in the store. Um, Schwinn is nice. We have the Schwinn bicycle trailer. I need you to sit. Um, so interval jogger, locking front wheel, and it's got the quick change wheel that you can snap off like a bicycle seat so that you can make it smaller for your car. So the one thing I will say about my Bumble ride is um, the wheels don't pop off easy like that. And in my Buick, I had an 01 Buick Century, and I still drive it from time to time, but the stroller has to be put in the car upside down to make it fit. So that's really big, and I don't remember the weight of it. And the trunk lid won't latch, and it's a, well at the time it was like a $700 stroller. So that's not something that you want left in your trunk, not even in my driveway. These guys are bored to death. So these are nice for singles. Um, and of course you can always add like a boogie board to the back for the doubles, but the boogie boards aren't made for all terrain. Oh. That's better, I hit a little blur. Okay, so one of the things that I like is um, trying to do chores around the house um, and little things with baby carrying. I don't like to carry baby all the time. I've already been carrying baby long enough, but um, baby carriers have gone cray cray, as my daughter would say. Um, an ergo baby is $160. And it is straps and a pouch. Uh, front carrier. I have had a couple of the Infantinos, and this one says it's an upscale customizable. Um, and it says four ways to carry, facing in, facing out. <sighs> facing out for babies with head control and backpack style for toddlers. Now, I never liked the backpack style because I don't know what's going on back there. So I'm gonna put them in the hiking carrier if I have them backpack style. Um, here's the Infantino convertible. Uh, thirty dollars. That's much more reasonable. And the Moby Wrap, forty-five. So I do have a Moby Wrap also, but summer babies, all those extra layers on mom can be quite uncomfortable. Um, I really like this baby Catan because you can carry baby close to you, which to me is important in a grocery store because people like to come up and touch the baby. I think we're gonna go with the Infantino Customizable because um, the thing that I know and like about this is it has padded shoulders and it's quite adjustable for mom or dad and it goes to babies up to 40 pounds. Um, a lot of times they max out at 10 or 12 pounds um, with this size. Yeah, see, the, and this one's even up to 32 pounds, so they've definitely improved in the last couple of years. So that's what we're going to get. We're going to get one of those. That is, and it's very light, and you can see through it. See, you can have them, like, next to you in bed or by the couch. That's right. Here's the halo. I've had, heard a lot of nice things about this halo. But you know what? Look at how big that stand is on the halo. That is like three feet or four feet Stupid. in every direction. You know why? Because this turn up. I know it. Yeah. 
Oh, this is this one's really cute. Graco Dream Suite. Super cute. Space for diapers. This one's super cute with the wood. It's like a little mini crib. Oh, that is adorable, but it only comes in a boy pattern. I mean a girl pattern. Oh, here's their boy version, but they don't have one on display. It's arrows. Arrows are really big right now, which I don't know if you people have heard me say before, but we're Native American, and it's kind of coming across as, like, <laughs> trending the Native American style. Here we go. Travel Light Crib. Here we have compact folding. Three stages, it's the Graco Travel Light, and I have had one of these for all of the boys. Um, their grandma had got it for them. It comes with a canopy with little play toys and a removable bassinet so that you can have them down low and a quilted pad. Let's see, there's lots of space down there. So you can always hide stuff. Um, a mommy hack for you. When they're not using that lower part, you can stuffed toys in there that you're not using. So that's really cute. The Great Coast got some nice styles um, for all of this right now. So definitely some options, but I like that. What was that one? Classic Comfort by Summer Infant. Which Summer Infant doesn't have great reviews for quality. The kids are walking away in the store with my little girl and my purse. Uh -huh. What is going on here? No. You can play with it. Give it to him and let him play with it. That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Potties for Bethy. Ooh, a potty watch. Look. A potty watch to make toilet training easy. You can time them so that they know when it's time to go back. How cute. I just want to say I am in love, 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 love with these chairs. This is a swivel glider, and our house is kind of small, so I don't really have room for more furniture right now. But baby gliders have come such a long way. They used to all look like this. And this is so much nicer. It looks like real furniture instead of just something for a nursery. The texture of this, it's almost like a tweed is so nice. It actually is a lot like that car seat that I liked. Um, Milan upholstery glider. So no swivel, just glide. Absolutely love, love them. And they are styling. This one is a rocker and it's got driftwood legs. If you can see that. Oh, it is so nice. I love that. Oh, but my kids would destroy this fabric. The gray one, probably not so much. I can see greasy ketchup and yogurt all over that. So how it can be cleaned also. Oh, there's other fabrics that you can get too. I hadn't seen that. That is so nice. Oh, I'm saving up for a new chair. I just have to say that this baby suit of furniture or suite of furniture is exactly what we need. Um, I just redid the boys' rooms in this almost the same blue and they went with like a kind of nautical theme but it's a little different. Um, it's not as boaty as some of them are but it's got the driftwood and I really like this. The sheet doesn't feel really nice though. It feels like really thin and something from a long time ago. Very, very low thread count. 
think the furniture is so cute. I could totally make that or get somebody to do that for me and put it on one of the kids' quilts. I love that. For my granddaughter, I would totally do this. I think she would like it a lot. Juliet, look at this. Dream big little one. This would be so perfect for Daphne in baby's room. So I just texted dad and told him that I'm at the baby store and we need more money. And I told him I was making a video. He says, good. He was thinking about that I'm making the video for YouTube. And I texted him back, money to spend, Goofy. <laughs> oh, this is really cute for a girl too. Oh, you can make it for a boy. It's just they have pink bedding on it, but super cute. It's, like, it's a grayish color. Everything is just so cute. We have used um, the baby crib that my husband used when he was a baby for every one of our kids. And this style came out, of course, when our kids were born. And we really didn't have the desire to go out shopping and using everything. So we bought a new mattress for it and, and used it because the slats were in the safe range. So just looking at this stuff, it's just so cute and so nice. And even buying it used on Craigslist is totally doable to do something a little nice and new. But right now, I spot something there on the back wall that I'd notice foxes. My daughter loves foxes. That would be good for her. So anyways, oh, it's l the look of um, barn, barn wood. If you don't have somebody to make something for you. Oh, I could totally do that with an old door. <laughs> We're finally finishing up here at Babies R Us, and Bethy found a little toy car to ride on the way out with Kermit the Frog. Say hi, Jack. Jack wants to be in the movie, too. Yep. Also, <laughs> special shout-out to my new shoes. Yay. I'm wearing that look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was that fun? Everybody got new shoes this week. Everybody grew. All right, off we go. Time to head out to the grocery shopping now. So we're leaving here. Hold up, Bethy. You're going too far. Hold up, baby. Check out this haul. These people like have, they had two shopping carts when they went through. I think they bought everything on the registry. And she's obviously as pregnant as me. They've got everything.